If you want to be biblically responsible, and I know mo- you do, I hope you do, you're going to have to pretty much scratch Edward Jones. I hate to say that to you because there's some good advisors at uh, Edward Jones. And if those good advisors want to be able to do some kingdom work by offering biblically responsible funds, I hate to tell it to, hate to say it to these advisors, you're going to have to move on, man. You're going to have to move your book somewhere else because Edward Jones is kicking on these goads very, very hard right now. So they switched to Guidestone. So if you're an advisor with them and you think that they've made some great a deal with Guidestone, let me just point out to you, you're free to email pat at financialissues.org. She will send you a file with all the reports on Guidestone. They are not biblically responsible. So I throw that out there because it's very important for you. We're getting tired of this. We got to fight against this. You've got, you can't, it's not good enough for you to want to be biblically responsible. We've got to start putting our faith into action. If we are going to honor God with what we have, that we've got to have a cooperating brokerage firm and we got to show the brokerage firms that God gave you stewardship responsibility for this money. God didn't give Edward Jones the stewardship responsibility for it. They gave it to you and it's your job to find somebody that you can work with. And Edward Jones ain't it. 